updates now on a big ET Now exclusive that we broke yesterday, uh, yesterday mid mid session. Now, when we look at the exclusive news that we have, it's on the about the Indigo promoters, the sort of differences that are arising over there. Uh, my colleague Nentara, who broke the story, is with us. Nentara, could you just explain us what the story is uh, and what is the rift between the two promoters? This is a mega ET now exclusive, which we brought to our viewers uh, yesterday. It's been followed up, uh, uh, you know, by all leading newspapers. And in fact, today you are seeing the Interglobe stock, the owner of Indigo Airlines, uh, crack in trade. It is under selling pressure. This is after ET now exclusively reported that there is a rift between the two promoters, the two men that founded uh, Indigo Airlines in 2004, which is an investment of 350 crore rupees, India's most successful airline. Uh, a rift that we are actually seeing between the two promoters, that is the NRI businessman Rakesh Gangwal and uh, Rahul Bhatia, who of course lives in the national capital region. Now, interestingly, they both own about 37 to 38 percent each in the airline. But the rift seems to be over executive control, with one promoter, Rahul Bhatia, feeling that his business partner, Rakesh uh, Gang, uh, Gangwal, is getting more of an executive control, is um, you know, having more control simply because of the recent senior level management hirings that have taken place. Look no further than the CEO, Ron Joy Datta. He has worked with uh, Rakesh Gangwal in the U.S., they both had a stint together at United Airlines. There are a couple of other such uh, top-level appointments that has been made by Rakesh Gangwal. We have not been able to uh, get a copy of the shareholder agreement uh, between the two promoters. But I would also not like to sensationalize the news. Indigo, one of the most successful airlines we have, don't think it's going down. Uh, you know, that's the last thing we would need after the jet airway saga. But having said that, yes, a rift does exist. And both the business partners, both the promoters are trying to iron out their differences. They've hired law firms as well. So sources telling me that uh, Rakesh Gangwal has roped in Khetan and company, whereas... Uh, uh, Rahul Bhatia has roped in uh, Jyoti Sagar Law Associates, J, uh, JSA, as it's popularly called, and that is the attempt. Having said that, you know, I reached out to all three stakeholders, Indigo, Rahul Bhatia, Rakesh Gangwal. None of them have responded to an exhaustive uh, query that was sent by ET now more than 24 hours ago. Uh, we're still on standby for that and for the markets. Uh, you know, just a quick remind. Once again, I'd like to reiterate, don't think that you know, Indigo is going to shut down or there's going to be litigation or one of the partners is going to exit. We are seeing some panic coming in. So I'd just like to reiterate, it's a rift and they're trying to iron out. But like they say, never say never. Right, Nantara, thanks so much for those uh, exclusive details. In fact, once we broke the story, we spoke to a whole host of experts, the likes of Sandeep Parekh, Mohit Saraf. Let's listen in what they told us. You know, many of these uh, kind of partnerships which have been uh, born at times where, you know, the, the airline was pretty much nothing, uh, are based on mutual understandings and not based on agreements, uh, especially when two, two persons are friends. So uh, those obviously al almost always cause friction, which is not easily resolvable because when you have a regular shareholders agreement, I think uh, pe people kind of uh, go through mediation or, or, or through arbitration uh, in a kind of a regular process. But uh, when you have kind of unwritten rules which have been uh, put in and you have such large stakes, you, you told me it's 75 percent together uh, and and so together kind of they, they can pretty much control everything in the com company so i think it's uh, it's one of those difficult it's it's like a um, there was proceeding very very painful very difficult nothing is written down and uh, it kind of ends up in uh, all kinds of much slinging so um, it could be painful if they've not documented through a shareholder agreement what the rights and duties are but i completely agree with um, mohit's perspective on what he said Yeah, it does happen. It happens regularly in com companies. You are two partners, maybe equal stakes, but uh, some partner is more active in business, other part partner may be active in other things, government relationships and things like that. So there is a possibility that uh, one partner may feel left out or may feel little disturbed. That sometimes does escalate into big issues. 
but gently i would say these issues should be resolved quite easily because i think what you rightly said is that this company is one of the very i would say absolutely a company which has grown from almost nothing to one of the large the, the largest airline in india and therefore the stakes are high for both part promoters and therefore i i would typically expect that in the shareholder agreement they would have typical rights where they can buy each other exit possibility or there could also be a position uh, there could be a provision about deadlock resolution some of these things should be there i don't know what level of dispute there is or what level of deadlock there is but these type of things can happen i think uh, again but but typically shareholder agreements does have these rights and exit rights or or or, or a process to resolve disputes and we need to see and particularly since we are not acting either for the two promoters or for the company so we have really no access and understanding what really is the dispute if there is any and how they can resolve it